experiment 12, study, uh, studying effect of intermolecular forces and physical property, specifically a physical property we are studying in this reaction is the rate of evaporation, how fast a sample is going to evaporate um, if the intermolecular force is strong or if it's weak. What are intermolecular forces? How many different types we have? Um, that those are good information that you need to know uh, before you perform the experiment for this experiment 12. So different type of intermolecular forces is like London dispersion. London dispersion forces, which is the weakest of all. Then we have dipole-dipole interaction. Dipole-dipole uh, interaction, you would see them in the polar compounds. Dipole, oh, sorry. Uh, wrong place. The dipole dipole is going to appear in polar substances, polar compounds would have dipole dipole. London dispersion is going to be for non polar compounds. Hydrogen bonding, these are the compounds that they have OH or NH or SH as part of their molecule. So um, if you have this OH bond, NH bond, or SH bond, the molecule uh, has hydrogen bonding, intermolecular force, and for molecular compound, this is the strongest one. Uh, London dispersion is going to be the weakest one. The substances that are being studied in this reaction, in this experiment, they are either alkane or alcohols. Alcohols, they contain OH, so it's going to be hydrogen bonding. But alkane, because it's nonpolar, is going to be Van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces or London dispersion, every compound has them. But for, for nonpolar compound, that's the only type of intermolecular forces that they, they have. So um, if the intermolecular force is weak, there would be a greater change in temperature when you are doing evaporation and more evaporation. It would be uh, increased in rate of evaporation. So evaporation is going to take place faster and the uh, change in temperature is going to be greater. So in this experiment, when you study the experiment, uh, what you are going to do is you are going to, uh, first of all, practice, first of all, perform the experiment and find out when you perform the experiment, uh, what would be the change in temperature. So you are going to use a, a temperature probe is a, that is the interface that attaches to computer and uh, you would record the temperature of the liquid um, then you have that sample evaporating outside of the liquid or you would leave it at room temperature is going to evaporate. And as it ev evaporates, um, the, it's because evaporation is endothermic reaction, is going to absorb heat from the surrounding. As a result, the temperature is going to drop. So you will see a drop in temperature. Part of the pre-lab is asking uh, what is the molecular weight of these, each of the compounds? Again, these tables are not complete table because it's not supposed to be used for a replacement of the lab manual or the, the pre-lab assignments. This is just the introduction or discussion part of the experiment. So for example, if you write the uh, molecular formula for ethanol is uh, 46, okay? And then for, for propanol, it's going to be 58. Both of them are alcohol. It's going to have H bonding because it contains OH, so it's H bonding. That's another question is asked here. What type of, yes, H bonding or no H bonding? Yes, H bonding for this one is H bonding and is strong. H bonding is strong. N-pentane, this is a nonpolar compound. Because it's nonpolar, is going to be weak. The formula is a C5H12, so it's going to be 1272. That's the molar mass. But it's going to have 
higher rate of evaporation because the nonpolar nature of it, the intermolecular force is weak as a result is going to evaporate much faster. Between ethanol and propanol, as the molecular weight increases, the van der Waals force is going to increase, even though both of them has hydrogen bonding, but overall propanol is going to have stronger intermolecular force. And if you have a stronger intermolecular force, the rate of evaporation is going to be slow, the rate would be lower, and as a result, change in temperature also is going to be less significant. So I gave a few answers to your pre-lab questions. Uh, but read the, the manual for the rest of them. Um, delta T, if you get the delta T for ethanol, let's say as 20 degrees Celsius, what mm -hmm. would be the predicted value for propanol? For propanol, then the change in, change in temperature is going to be smaller so I'm just going to put like 16 or 17, as long as it's less than 20 for this is going to, to work. And what would be the predicted value for pentane? Pentane is nonpolar. If I have 20 for ethanol, pentane is going to be much higher change in temperature because it's going to evaporate much faster, uh, much faster than this. So we can go like 32 degree change in um, temperature, or if I, uh, yeah, 28, 32, any number that it would be like greater change in temperature compared to this one. So if the change in temperature for this one is 10, then this is going to be um, eight, then this is going to be 14. So these numbers are relative numbers. The actual number, you would get it from the experiment and the actual procedure and which other compounds are going to be tested, you will see that from the, the lab manual. Okay, these are some other compounds, but we are not going to cover it all.